I look crazy? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Ali everyone, I'm in Palau. I've been in Palau for a few days now. I've been learning a lot from Joshua's family and the stories that they're telling me and like rich history and culture that I never saw anywhere else online. So when I was originally planning out our trip here, I had an idea of what I wanted to record and how I wanted my video to go and after hearing all of these stories and history I kind of got lost. I knew that it couldn't be recorded the way that I wanted it to be recorded. So for this video I'm still gonna keep it light. It's gonna be more like a vlog style. I still have a lot planned for this trip right now. So this week we're going to the Rock Islands and Peleliu and then next week we're going to Angar to see the monkeys. We ended up not being able to go to Angar um, but I'll be explaining that later on in the video. I'm gonna have a lot of cool stuff in this video but I want to take everything that I learn here from Joshua's family, do some research and next time we come here do a deep dive of Palau. So today, right now, we're at Long Beach. We're gonna swim, have a good time, and we're gonna eat later on. All right! I got a spicy hot cheeto mouth. The beach was amazing. The fish were right next to me of every color, rainbow, blue, green, everything. I loved it. I had such a good time. We're gonna go get something to eat. It's a restaurant called Me So Hungry. So let's check it out. Okay, so we got our next one. It's Inari Sushi. It's the fried tofu pouches with assorted fish, some good sauce. It looks so good and beautiful. We also got the Toke Sushi Burrito. Look at this big boy. It has hot Cheeto on it. It looks insane. <laughs> Morning, morning. We are getting ready to go head to the boat that's gonna take us around some of the rock islands today. So our first stop, I believe, is Jellyfish Lake where I get to swim with jellyfish. So that's wicked cool. And then it takes us to this area where you can swim with sharks. I don't think I'm gonna swim with sharks. I'll freak out, but I'll still show you that area. And then it's gonna take us to a couple other islands. So today's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so we just finished up at the Milky Way. I got to put mud all over myself. It's supposed to be really good for your skin, so no wrinkles for me. <laughs> right now, we just docked where you go to Jellyfish Lake. It's gonna be about a 15 minute hike, and it's been pretty warm, so there might not be jellyfish on the surface. Um, I guess when it's hot, they go down, so hopefully we see some, but let's... Let's go. 
just so many steps. Oh gosh. Nobody told me about all these steps. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we made it up and down the stairs. It wasn't that bad, but I have seen no video telling me about a hike. So, just to let you know. The jellyfish were not around the platform dock, so we have a family member who took a canoe and he's out searching for where the jellyfish might be. We tried to set off the drone to kind of help and take video of our surrounding area, but it got attacked by a bird, so we had to fly it in really quick. I won't be disappointed if I don't see the jellyfish just because everything I've seen already so far is so mind-blowing. I'm having the best day ever. And I'll be like, oh man, I didn't get to see the jellyfish, but it's the big picture. This day is amazing. The Rock islands are mind blowing. I'm like, is it real? <laughs> So we just finished up at Jellyfish Lake. We really got a plan on coming back here, hopefully this year sometime, maybe, fingers crossed. And we'll have to come early, early when it's shady and cool. We didn't get to see too many, but I got to touch a jellyfish. I'm really excited about that, so it's okay. Right now, we're at Shark City. The sharks are literally right there. I was wondering why the sharks don't bother people and our boat captain almost got me. He said that they didn't have any teeth and I was like, oh, we're... no. <laughs> <laughs> but they're really well fed here. There's abundance of fish, so they just don't care about people. So you can go out there and swim with them. I saw a video and there was this guy in deep water and there were sharks all around him and I was like, I cannot do that but they're right here at the shore. We're gonna have lunch first, but then I'm getting in that water. Ooh, wish me luck. <laughs> Are my sharks. That's like highlight of my entire life. After Shark City, we went to this area called the Sandbar and then to a place called the Cemetery Reef and there were fish just everywhere. Fish bit my finger. It was awesome. I loved it. And now we're in Peleliu at this beautiful bungalow resort. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right now, we're gonna go around Peleliu, but first we gotta rent a car and we're gonna have some breakfast. So let's go. <laughs> so for one gallon of gas, it's $7.90. Is it okay if I record you putting the gas in? Because oh. I've never <laughs> seen anything like yeah, this. Okay, we got the rental car, but there's no restaurants open, so breakfast. <laughs>
You slept in here, Mom? Yeah, but it was very clear. Everything was clear. Uh, yeah. Yes, this is it. Okay, let me get out. No. Yeah. See that? You stayed in and this room. It's over here. This is the room that we slept in. You slept in this room? Yeah. And they needed that water tank. After we left the hospital, we got lost again, trying to find our way back. But we made it out, so it was fine. I stepped inside the hospital, and I didn't want to go all the way inside, so I turned my camera, and I let it see that big room. And then I took it out and then I was thinking, oh, it's probably too dark. Maybe I should turn on my flash. And mom, you started already walking like towards the other side of the building. And while I got my camera and I was looking for my flash, I heard something like, like a, <sighs> and I put down my phone and I ran. I was like, coming mom. And that's when you showed me the room that you actually stayed the night in. And then I was like, okay, so let's go back to the car. <laughs> okay, that's and then we left, and then we got lost. And then we made it out. I gotta give myself goosebumps. <laughs> but we're okay. Good? What the hell? <laughs> This is Hinu, Palau's number one fat dog, is what I've been told. And she's the goodest girl. Yeah. Something I've noticed here in Palau during my stay is the dogs, like the stray dogs here, seem much healthier than the stray dogs in Guam. Their coats are nice, they look well fed, their temperament is very calm. They're a bit skittish, but they're not aggressive. Whereas like in Guam, they'll be barking or chasing you. I was also talking about dogs with Joshua's cousin, who's a teacher here, and he let me know the origin story of the word for dog because there didn't used to be a word for dog in the Palawan language uh, because dogs are not natural to the island. It was actually an explorer who found Palau and he brought his dog Felix and in the Palawan language there is no F and there is no X so they were calling him Belize. And so anytime they saw another dog, they just called that dog Belize because I guess there was maybe a misunderstanding with the name or maybe it was on purpose, but that's how the word dog came to Palau. So that's kind of a cool story to learn the origin of that word. So unfortunately, we weren't able to plan out going to Angar, uh, just limited flights, limited boats, so we couldn't swing it. I really wanted to see those monkeys, but they'll be there for next time, so that's okay. But today, today is my birthday, and we are going fishing, so I can't open these oh, with my no. nails. So embarrassing. I know. Okay, so let's go fishing.
kind of wrapping up our trip. We've spent two weeks here and it's been absolutely amazing. Some of the most beautiful sights I've ever seen. The Rock Islands literally blew my mind away. It was so gorgeous. It was like unreal. I thought I was in a dream. It's been an amazing experience and I've learned so much. I'm really excited to take everything that I've heard like stories and historical information, bring it back and I cannot wait to come back to Palau and do an even deeper dive. I hope everybody's had fun. This has been an amazing first trip. It's it was so cool. So I really, really, really cannot wait to come back. <laughs>